Hi, I'm Randy Robinson. This is Life Today. I'm here with the author of Be Beautiful, Be You, and the new book, Choosing Happiness. Lizzie Velasquez is with me. Lizzie, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for coming and hanging around our set for a bit. I'm obsessed with your set. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I want to take it home. <laughs> you <laughs> but can't you take said it home, no. <laughs> but you know, you're not that far away. So I know. You see, come so up and Oh, well, I thought you were saying you can have it because no, you're you not that far away. No, you can't have it, but you can come up and borrow it. All right. So, That's you, close now, enough. You, you actually could because they're working on a documentary about your life. Yes, tell we me, are. Tell me a little bit about that. We are. We're working on my first official documentary. Your it, first? You're going to have many? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> there might be part two. We'll see. But the first one, the well, first one, this one, is about, going to be about my life and how I've really overcome bullying and how there really is life after being bullied. That's got to be an amazing thing. Because I bet you got it bad. I mean, we know with the web thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, that's got to just hurt, man. It's a good and bad thing. The bad thing, of course, is because it's mean comments. And I think whether you have a syndrome or not, being told really awful things about yourself from strangers is awful. Mm -hmm. Awful. But at the same time, all of those bad things is what has made me stronger and is what has been my driving force to be kind of like the light for people to see mm -hmm. that I was told really, really awful things, but it's possible to choose happiness. It's possible to decide to go down a positive path and to help other people. So I wouldn't take back all the negativity because it's made me a lot stronger. Mm. I'd still like to kick them in the teeth, but that's just me. I mean, me too, <laughs> but we can't. You can't bully right. the bully. Oh. Well, have you had the chance to face anyone who's said mean things to you? I haven't, no, because no. a lot of it has been online. Yeah. And from people who I don't know where they live no. or I'll probably never see them in my life. But no. I've gotten messages of apologies. Have you? Yeah, I've gotten Good. a lot of apologies. Good. There was one actually, um, it was on Instagram. And there was a kid, a teenager, mm. who uh, apologized because he said, I was just making fun of you and talking really bad about you on another post. Mm. And now I came to your website and I learned about you and I'm sorry. And he sent me an apology comment every day for a week. Mm. Good for him. I know. I think a lot of the time that people make mm, these nasty comments because they make them about everybody, right? Yeah, it's I mean, honestly, issue. also, I think the people who bully other people online are the ones who are hurting the most. So yeah. I can't. Or I, just not thinking. And, and not realizing that their words have power. Yeah, yeah. I think it's definitely a combination of both. Mm -hmm. I think some people don't realize that sometimes words can hurt more than actions. Mm -hmm. And they use the touch of a keyboard and the click of a mouse to it's easy. hurt other people. But I think that's why I'm so determined to hopefully be a remedy to that. Because I'm fully aware there's never going to be a cure to bullying or online bullying. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. But I hope that my story and this documentary and my speaking and anything else that I do can be a remedy that people can use or a tool that people can use when they see other people being bullied. I am certain that by now someone has come up to you after you've spoken <laughs> and said, thank you, I've been mistreated, you've given me hope. Have you gotten a lot of feedback like that? Yes. Yeah. yeah? Pretty much after every speech, I get it. And it's not just speeches, it's emails and comments. And I get it almost every day. But I think it's one of the things that I had to realize before I became a speaker. Because for so long, I thought I wasn't going to be able to relate to absolutely anyone because no one knew exactly what it was like to walk in my shoes. Yeah. And it wasn't until I started motivational speaking where it hit me like a ton of bricks that someone can relate to something, something I've been through yeah. at some point or another. And through that, I was able to really use it as a stage to share my story, but at the same time relate and show people you're not, you're not alone. Yeah, yeah. You know, and as awful as some of the negative things said about you are and were, right. those words that come back where people say, thank you, you've helped me, you've given right. me hope, those have to be just phenomenally helpful to you. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I think it's one of the best feelings when it comes full circle, mm -hmm. whenever someone is 
really awful to me. And I mean, YouTube, for example, having that awful video posted about me, it was the one website that really, really almost broke me. Mm. And now fast forward to after I have really chose to make myself better and accomplish my goals. Now YouTube is a window for me to turn on the camera and let people into my life yeah. and invite, I'm, they invite me into their lives. Yeah. And having that just makes it come full circle because now I can't picture myself without a website like YouTube. Very cool. What's your bottom line message to people who have been hurt by the words of others? It gets better, <laughs> without a doubt. I think a lot of people say it, but they don't mean it. I think a lot of people say it and don't know how to get to that point. Mm -hmm. And with my message, I hope that they can see that it just takes a choice a choice of choosing to be happy and a choice to really make yourself better because once you decide to pick that route and once you decide to make yourself better, everything else will fall into place. Wow, wow. I believe it. Thanks. I believe it. You will probably want to get her book, Choosing Happiness. Where can they go to find out about you, see some of your motivational speaking, check out your books? They can go to thelizzieproject.com. Very cool. And when yeah. the documentary is up, we'll get all sorts of good information there. Yep, everything, all the film you need is on there. <laughs> Very cool. I look forward to seeing that, actually. Thank you. Do check that out. Check out her website. And you can also see Lizzie when she's on Life Today. That's at lifetoday.org. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Thank you.